got some olive oil heating up on the stove top here. I'm gonna turn it down just a hair. Um, over here, I have. Would you mind holding? Would you mind holding this and just focusing it right there for me when you're done? I'm gonna. Okay, so I have some um, tri-tip steaks right there. I'm going to saute them. I'm going to take them out of the bag. And this is not the best pan. However, I'm going to be putting this, putting them in another pan, put them in 350 degrees stove to finish them. So, oh, son of a god, that splattered out on my foot. So I'm going to get those uh, caramelized. I caramelize these babies. And then I made some beans, some um, baked beans that are stove top. Um, I used some pork and beans in this, some onion, some spicy mustard, a little Worcestershire sauce, um, some of this adobo because it has wonderful seasonings in it. And then I marinated the steaks in some adobo. Also some of this uh, McCormick Growmasters hamburger seasoning and olive oil. And then in the microwave, I have some peas. Peas, please. I have some peas that um, with a little onion, a little adobo also, because I love adobo so much. This has been a long day with you all, but I kind of wanted to show you a day in my life, in our life, Richard and I. Um, he is in the living room finishing up his life chat that he's watching. And once this is all cooked and ready to plate, okay. I'll bring you back on. For your dining pleasure tonight, we have tri-tip steaks. And, um, olive oil and butter sauce with wonderful seasonings, some peas with onion, and some semi-homemade baked beans. So let's see what we can do here. I'm um, going to take and put this on a plate. Well, let's see. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to put this back in here. I've been looking forward to this all day. Right there. Save that one for our son. Um, oh, I grabbed a hot... Gosh darn it. My attention was taken away and I grabbed by filming, which Richard mentioned to me today in the truck, and I grabbed the hot handle out of a 350 degree oven, right under cold water, shoot. You know, I'll tell you what, one positive thing uh, when I'm on camera, because I, I really am working on it, but I can have an awful uh, reactive mouth, and um, this is helping me pay attention to my mouth. Apparently even in times of... And my dog is licking up <coughs> the stuff that splattered out. Oh, Patty, you're so cute. Mommy loves you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take some of this sauce, so to speak. Spread it right back over the top of this. here. 
Okay. And some peas. I put this in the oven to stay warm while the steaks were finishing in the oven. We don't eat tonight, the dogs will get in the morning. Okay. And there's a spoonful of beans on each plate. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> All right. that my friends is it I'm gonna go put these on the table Richard yeah. your dinner's ready it's on the table it's grab your plate Hi, Zar. No begging. No begging, please. Thank you. No begging, Patty. Patty, no begging. Go in the kid living room. Back up. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, doggies. I have your fork and knife in here. I'm going to give them the option of which plate. So I'm going to give you the option of which plate because you you like meat more than I like it. This one's fine. Okay. I think. You think? How is your um? Are you having? Are you having an interesting chat? Yeah. Okay. It was good. We're back. All right. Um, we're going to make this the end of our day video. This is the end of the day. Uh, this was a day in our life. Um, we did some things today, um, showed you about getting around and how we, you know, what our daily um, rituals are, some of them, in the morning. And then you went with us to, to downtown Eugene area, out to my dad's, um, showed you a little of the area, went to the park, um, what I did for dinner, which by the way, it was not the greatest tri-tip in my history of eating meat. Um, I didn't even finish mine. So, um, I think that's it for me. I'm going to see if Richard has some words he'd like to share. Bits of knowledge? Well, no knowledge, but a few things to say. <laughs> uh, I suppose I know those things, so that is knowledge, isn't it? Uh, so we had a pretty good day. I did. I should speak for myself. I had a pretty good day. I hope she did too. Um, <clears throat> we took our little fatty girl, our little beagle, with us today when we went somewhere. I can't even remember where we went. Oh, to see my father-in-law. Yes. Uh, they had a barbecue there today. And we had a, got a free lunch, some hot dogs. And, and they say there's no free lunches. Well, we got them. We got one today. Every so often, it's a pretty good rest home uh, that we, we have him at. He enjoys himself there. He gets around and, and he's got a hover around chair, so he cruises around once in a while. He's capable of doing things. It makes him feel that he's not totally incompetent of being able, his mobility wise. And uh, that's good. Uh, it took us a long time for him to realize that he could go and do things and get involved and, and have fun. And I think he's funny getting around to realizing that there are other people there he can get along with, make friends with, and enjoy himself with around these people. So that's one of the good things that happened today is I, I thought about that. 
and that was a good thing. So I'm very happy to be here. Please subscribe. Uh, give us a thumbs up or down, whichever you prefer, and comment. We love to hear from you, and thank each and every one of you. We are burning up the roads. See you next time. Boom. Spoke too soon. I still want to thank Deborah Dickinson for her live chat tonight and Gone Boondocking. David with Gone Boondocking. Both of you are wonderful, um, wonderful nomads. You, you represent us with pride and dignity. Well, I'm not us yet. You represent that community with pride and dignity and uh, grace. And so thank you both for being models for Richard and I specifically and no doubt hundreds, if not thousands of others. So I look forward to seeing you both next week again.